Hello. Tonight our video is on intercepts. And when we talk about intercepts on a coordinate plane, there are always two different kinds of intercepts. There's the x-intercept and the y-intercept. And simply put, the x-intercept and the y-intercepts are the points that are directly on the x-axis and the y-axis. So looking at our picture here of this graph, the x-intercept is right here. It's the point that's right on the x-axis. And that point has an ordered pair. All right, so looking at that point, we can write down the value of x and y. Now looking carefully at our graph, uh, our value of x is going to be negative 2. See that? Here's negative 1, here's negative 2 on my x-axis. Now, the value of y is going to be 0. Because in order to be directly on the x-axis, the value of y can't be positive, which would be above the axis, and it can't be negative, which would make it below the x-axis. So our ordered pair for an x-intercept is always going to have a y value of 0. All right now let's look at the y-intercept. It's right here. All right, ask yourself, what would be the value of x and the value of y at that point? Well, for the value of x, if you're right on the y-axis, x would be 0. Because if it was positive, if x was positive, it would be to the right of the y-axis. And if it was negative, it would be to the left. All right, and what's the value of y at that point? It's 1, 2, 3. That's right, it's 3. Okay, so that's what we mean when we talk about intercepts. We have an x-intercept and a y-intercept. All right, look carefully at this graph and identify the x-intercept and the y-intercept. Pause the video, then check your answer. Welcome back from pausing the video. The x-intercept is going to be right here. And the value of x at that point is negative 2. And of course, y is 0. The y-intercept is right here. The value of x would be 0. And the value of y would equal 1. So how'd you do? Okay, good. All right, so now let's shift gears a little bit. Here we have an equation in standard form. This is a linear equation of a line, okay, which is a, which is a line. There's our standard form, all right? And our job is to find the intercepts. Find the x-intercept and find the y-intercept. Well, let's use what we know about intercepts. If I'm going to find the x-intercept, I know that's going to be the point on the graph where y equals what? That's right, 0. So what do you think I would do with that information? Well, if you said substitute 0 in place of y in the equation, that's exactly correct. So if I substitute 0 in place of y, I'm going to have negative 2 times 0. So what is negative 2 times 0? What's any number times 0? That's right, it's 0. So when I substitute 0 for y, that means that the y term will drop out of my equation. And what I have remaining would be 3x equals 12. And then, of course, I can solve for x by dividing both sides by 3. So that would give me x equals 4. So my x-intercept is going to be 4, 0. Okay? All right, so let's find the y-intercept. How do you think we would find the y-intercept? Well, if you said substitute 0 for x, you would be correct. And if we substituted 0 for x, we would get 3 times 0, which, of course, is 0, so that drops out. And what we have remaining 
would be negative 2y equals 12. And now I can solve for y by dividing both sides by negative 2. So y would equal negative 6. All right, so that's how we find intercepts, especially when equations in standard form. It makes it very simple. Okay, you try this one. Okay, find the x and y intercept for the equation. Pause your video and then restart it to check your answer. Welcome back from pausing the video. We're going to find our x and y intercepts. Let's start with the x-intercept. We will substitute 0 in place of y. When I do that, this term drops out, so I get negative 3x is equal to 30, and then divide both sides by negative 3. So we get x equals negative 10. Therefore, the x-intercept is the point negative 10, 0. Now let's find the y-intercept. To do so, we'll substitute 0 in place of x. All right, when I do that, the x term drops out. What remains is 5y equals 30. And now divide both sides by 5. y is equal to 6. Okay, so what do you think? That's not too difficult, huh? All right, so now let's take it one more step. We're going to graph this equation and we're going to use the intercepts in order to do so. Because in order to draw a line, we really only need two points. If those points are accurate, the line should be accurate. And whenever you have an equation in standard form, graphing with intercepts is very simple because we find the two intercepts, plot them, and draw our line. Okay, so let me find the x-intercept and y-intercept. Well, the x-intercept, of course, is going to be when y is 0, right? So if I put 0 in place of y, that drops out. I get 2x is equal to 8. So x equals 4, y equals 0, that's my x-intercept. So x equals 4 is right there. Okay, now I'll find my y-intercept. So I'll put 0 in place of x. And that's going to give me negative 4y equals 8. Divide both sides by negative 4. You get y equals negative 2. So negative 2 is here on the y-axis. And the graph would be a line through those two points. Simple as that. All right. Go ahead and graph using the x and y intercepts. Please pause your video and then restart it to check your work. Welcome back from pausing the video. Let's start with our x-intercept. So if y is 0, the y term drops out. We get negative 3x on the left equals negative 12. Let's divide both sides by a negative 3. We're going to get x equals positive 4. All right, so there's my x-intercept. The y-intercept is when x is 0. So the x term drops out. That leaves 4y equals negative 12. Divide both sides by 4. We get y equals negative 3. It's right there. Okay, now draw your line. And there's our graph. Thank you for listening. And don't remit and don't forget <laughs> read some books.